Good day everyone! Today we'll be talking about formulating research title and problem. If you are reading a research article, paper, or investigatory project, the first thing that you see is the research title. It describes the content of the article, paper, or investigatory project in a concise manner. And a good research title contains keywords. What are the characteristics of a good title? 1. It informs the reader accurately about the content of the article. It is simple, direct, clear, brief, and attractive. It does not contain abbreviation or jargon. It does not contain numerical values of the parameters. And it includes keywords. So how to formulate experiment title? Experiment title is written as the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. Let's have an example. The title is The Effect of BG Lesson as an Instructional Material on the Summative Test Scores of Grade 7 Students. In order to identify the effect of BG Lesson as an Instructional Material on the Summative Test Scores of Grade 7 Students, you may group them into three groups. You may give video lesson every day to first group, every week to the second group, no video lesson to the third group, then give a summative test. Compare the results in order to identify the effect of video lesson on the summative test scores. The frequency of video lesson given to students is manipulated or change in order to see its effect on the test scores. So, video lesson is the independent variable. So, independent variable is a variable that is manipulated in order to see its effect on the dependent variable. That's why video lesson is our independent variable. Going back to our title, we manipulate the frequency of giving video lesson to students. Why is it so? We manipulate or change the frequency of giving video lesson in order to see its effect on the summative test scores. So summative test score is being tested and measured. This is our dependent variable. So dependent variable is a variable that is tested and measured. Let's have another example. Our title is The Effect of Tap Water on the Growth of Sansevieria Trifasciata Plant. Sansevieria Trifasciata Plant is commonly known as a snake plant. Can you identify the independent variable? If your answer is tap water, you're right. Why? Because we can manipulate or change the amount of water in order to see its effect on the growth of Sansevieria trifasciata plant. Now, can you identify the dependent variable? If your answer is the growth of Sansevieria trifasciata plant, then you are correct. Let us now discuss how to formulate a research problem. By the way, research problem is a problem that is being investigated in an experiment. Research problem is very important because it serves as the blueprint of research. It serves as a guide in presenting the results and discussion. How to formulate a research problem? Follow this general rule. What is the effect of independent variable on dependent variable? Going back to our title, the effect of video lesson as an instructional material on the summative test scores of grade 7 students. Using our general formula, what is the effect of independent variable on dependent variable, can you make now or formulate the research problem? So our research problem is what is the effect of video lesson as an instructional material on the summative test scores of grade 7 students? Let's have another example. The title is The Effect of Tap Water on the Growth of Sansevieria Trifasciata Plant. Can you formulate the research problem? 
Again, using our general formula, we can formulate now the problem as what is the effect of tap water on the growth of Sansevieria trifasciata plant? Activity time. Cat on a sheet of paper and a ball pen. Answer this activity, then check your own paper. Just be honest. Miss Edna is teaching photosynthesis. She noticed that her students are not interested with her lesson. As a result, majority failed in the quiz given at the end of the lesson. Miss Edna thought of giving a reward like a chocolate bar for a student who gets a perfect score in her test in her another class. As a result, everybody passed the quiz given after the lesson. Question number one. What is the independent variable in the scenario? The independent variable is reward. Because when Ms. Edna gives a reward to student who gets a perfect quiz score, the quiz scores of the students increases as evidenced by majority of the students who passed. So, the reward affects the quiz score. Hence, reward is the independent variable. Question number two. What is the dependent variable in the scenario? The dependent variable is quiz score. The quiz score is measured in order to identify the effect of reward on it. So quiz score is the dependent variable. Question number three. What will be the title of the given scenario? Since the independent variable is reward and the dependent variable is quiz score, using now our general formula, the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable so we cannot formulate our title, the effect of giving reward on the quiz scores of grade 7 students. Question number 4. What will be the research problem? The research problem will be what is the effect of giving a reward on the quiz score of grade 7 students? Scenario 2 Hydrologic models provide a framework in which to conceptualize and investigate the relationships between climate and water resources. A review of current studies that assess the impacts of climate change using hydrologic models indicates a number of problem areas common to the variety of models applied. These problem areas include parameter estimation, scale model validation, climate scenario generation, and data. Solutions to these problems would significantly improve the capability of models to assess the effects of climate change. Abstract from Lively's study in 1994. Question number one. What is the title of Lively's study? A. Modeling the effects of climate change on water resources. A review. B. Modeling the effects of water resources on climate change. A review. Answer. Letter A, modeling the effects of climate change on water resources are review. Why? Because the independent variable is climate change and the dependent variable is water resources. Remember again our general formula? The effects of independent variable on dependent variable. Hence, the answer is letter A. 
What is the problem of leafless study? A. What are the effects of climate change on water resources? B. What are the effects of water resources on climate change? Answer, letter A. What are the effects of climate change on water resources? Thank you for watching up to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you will be updated with new videos. For more information, you may visit these references. Credits are also given to the following listed on the screen. Have a great day!